as long as you said you'd wait but you're not turning on the car are you nope 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 it's official I'm losing my mind why am I doing this I got no job and nowhere to be so instead I'm sitting outside in my car stalking some kid whose friend just died what is the plan what's the plan John if he came outside that door right now, what would you even do? What if he saw what he thinks he saw? God damn it. Maybe just a couple more minutes. I think I've got an idea. Where did I put that tape recorder? Ah, there we go. Alright. You work for... Some obscure newspaper. And you're here to talk to him about the story, right? Hello, this is Dr. John Spacer. Oh, no, no doctor. God. <laughs> Hello, this is John Spacer. I'm just talking to myself and thinking aloud, doing nothing conspicuous and definitely not crossing any lines. Did that record? Ugh. I think this is who I am now. I have no purpose, so I'll just ramble to myself and waste time until I die, right? Oh, shit. Is that him? <sighs> Looks like him. He's already in his car? I missed my opportunity. Damn it. All right. <sighs> Follow him? Oh, crap. Crap, crap. Oh, please just stop at a grocery store so I can bump into you. Please. And nope. Right by Sherman's. Okay. We reach the traffic circle on the left. Then he's taking the second exit and turning left. I'll circle around so he doesn't see me, but it looks like he's... Keep 
looking right at the fork. Where is he going? This is towards the edge of town. Alright, I see him in the distance. He's passing by the second exit on the right and keeping left. Actually, he's turning right onto Pennsylvania Road. And he's going exactly where I thought he would. Toward the Springfield facility. There's nothing else out this way, and it makes sense, right? Not just because his friend died, but because he thinks he saw a ghost or something. <laughs> I mean, I'd go back to the source too if it were the first time I saw one. If this kid actually did see a ghost, I need to figure out what happened and why. He's pulling down the side road that leads to the facility. I'm gonna wait and park off to the side so he doesn't see me. I don't want it to look like I'm following him. <laughs> this is familiar. Sitting in front of this rickety gate that leads to the old Springfield Corporation facility. Only this time there's more police tape. And I'm still talking to myself out loud like an idiot. Alright, well, he's gone up the road, so I should be good to go. This is my first time seeing this place during the day. The gate actually opens this time. Look at that. And I know an easier way in now. You'd think that there would still be police around here. Somebody at least guarding this area. Huh. I wonder if... Felix? Felix! Where did you go today? Mike? Who are you? You're not Felix. Mike, do you remember me? We met before. I'm, I'm John. I don't know you. I figured as much. Why are you in my lab? And how did you get here without a badge? I'm just passing through. That doesn't answer my question. How are you, Mike? Tip top top tip tip top. Why? Just checking. You've been here a long time. How many days has it been? It's been 11,162 days since the last storm and two days since the last accident. Not a great record. Your memory is so interesting to me. You seem to completely understand the passage of time. Why wouldn't I? Time isn't relative. Einstein was an idiot. <laughs> I bet. But you don't seem to be degrading at all. And you've been here a long time. My mental faculties are as good as ever, thank you. <laughs> I couldn't have said it better myself. Are you sure you don't remember me? Should I? No, probably not. I gave you some bad news last time. Is it about Ray? Yeah, it was. Sort of. Tell him he is fired. I will definitely do that. Good. Now, this is a sterile environment. I assume you have permissions to be here? Of course. <laughs> Say, Mike, you mentioned something earlier. I was hoping you could clarify for me. Shoot. You said a name and an accident from two days ago. Was someone named Felix killed here? Hello? Hello? Oh. Hi. Hi. I'm sorry, you're Greg Picker, right? From the news? Yeah. Who are you? Uh, my name is Jack. I'm... I thought your name was John. Are you with the police? Look, I'm sorry if this is trespassing. I just... I'm not with the police. I'm a journalist. <laughs> Got the recorder and everything. Is that why you were talking? Can both of you just please get out of my lab? You're disrupting my work with this ridiculousness. Just taking notes. I'm following up on the story. About the accident? No, actually. Uh, it's about you. Um, maybe I should go. Sorry, I didn't mean you specifically. I heard your report on the news and I decided to come see this place for myself. I'm not a, a typical journalist. I'm investigating some, uh, some paranormal activity. Like hauntings? Sort of, yeah. Um, I was... There's no such thing as ghosts. Science has proven otherwise. You heard the clip of me saying I saw Felix, right? Yeah, I did. It was stupid. I didn't mean anything by it. Sure you did. You're here right now. I could just be here to grieve. But you're not. Mm. What channel did you say you're with again? 
Look, Greg, I'll be honest with you. This is off the books. I came here to check into a ghost sighting. You think any local channel is going to run that? I guess not. I didn't expect to run into you here, so I'm perfectly happy pretending we never saw each other. I'm just going to go check out the death site, if you don't mind. I'm hoping to get some readings on Philip's ghost. Oh, thank goodness. Goodbye. Uh, I... Excuse me. Come on. Take the bait. Come on. His name was Felix. Hmm? What was that? He said Philip. My friend's name was Felix. Oh, sorry about that. What are you doing anyway? Just seeing if I can get a reading. With a recorder? What happened here anyway? I... I thought you listened to the story already. In my experience, the paranormal tend to react to people talking about them. Uh, especially loved ones. Maybe remembering him will help. Probably only if you get his name right. Hmm. <laughs> Felix. Right. Felix, are you here? Anything? Not yet. Do you mind? It was his birthday today. Uh, we were celebrating when it happened. I'm sorry to hear that. It's fine. Why here, if you don't mind me asking? I don't know. He was drunk. He liked these woods. We were supposed to be camping, and it just seemed like a cool place to check out. That was a lot of reasons. You trying to explain it away? I'm just trying to make sense of it. It all happened so fast. One minute he's there, and the next... And the next he's there again. I was just tired and, and panicked. Do you really think you saw him? Maybe. Have you ever seen a ghost? No. But do you believe in them? I think a lot of people do. Yeah, well, a lot of people don't go on the news and say they saw one. Surprised there isn't a seance here, honestly. People in Springfield love this stuff. I'm sure this place will be a mob scene by tomorrow. Were you hoping you'd see him again? <laughs> That's a loaded question. Why is that? Of course I want to see him again. But at the same time, do I really want to be that guy who swears he saw a ghost? You're here because you're already that guy. Great. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Anytime. I feel weird saying this. Because I barely know you, but, uh, thanks for talking to me. I think I needed it. What did Felix look like? I don't really want to think about his body. No, I mean the thing you saw standing next to you. If it was a ghost, what did it look like? Hmm. It looked just like Felix, which was why I was so freaked out. Was he translucent? No. He was completely normal. No cuts, no blood, no crazy black eyes or monster teeth or whatever people claim they see when they see ghosts. Yeah. What stood out to you then? He was standing right next to me when it happened, I mean. I, like, felt him next to me for a second and turned and he was looking right toward this spot, just like we are now. Honestly, I'm getting a chill just thinking about it. So you think he was looking at the accident with you? That's what it seemed like. You think he didn't know it was his body? Like he thought he was still alive? Maybe. I have no idea. It was only for a second. I looked at him, and he looked right at me. He, like, winced, and then looked down and disappeared. Winced how? I don't know. Like he touched his neck. By the C6? The what? Uh, according to the report, he was impaled by a pipe right in between his two spinal column vertebra. That's... disgusting. How do you know that? Journalistic privileges. Uh-huh. You said he looked down. Looked at what? He was floating. Like an inch off the ground. And that was it? He was gone. What did it look like when he disappeared? Is that recorder on? I didn't agree to being in an interview, and that's... That's what this turned into, didn't it? No, it's off. I'm such an idiot. You're just looking for a story. 
It's not like that, I- I'm leaving. You're an ass for trying to exploit someone while they're grieving. Greg, uh, look, I'll take the tape out. There's nothing in it right now, I promise. Ah, damn it. Felix? Felix Matthews, are you here? My name is John Spacer, and I came to talk to you. John Spacer? I thought your name was Jack. Jack Spacer. No, no, John sounds right. Forensic pathologist. I didn't say that earlier. You do remember me. Of course, John. John Spacer. You talk to dead people. That's right. Do you remember what happened last time? Last time? Never mind. It's not important, I guess. We were interrupted earlier. By Greg. That's right. From the television. Right. Greg from TV. Listen, earlier you asked where Felix went. Was he here? Not today. Yesterday. He wasn't much help. Much help with your project? Yes. He gave me bad news like you did. So he told you he was dead. And so were you? I I don't remember. There were police officers here. They had badges, but not the right kind to enter the office. I asked them to leave. (laughs) Did they? Eventually. Everyone dies eventually. That they do. Do you remember Felix saying anything else? Maybe about a pain in his neck? Yes, he kept holding his neck. Strange. Greg must have been right then. He really did see Felix's ghost. Wait, Felix was a... Yeah, he was, and, and Greg saw him, like actually saw him. I saw him too. I can see ghosts. Yeah, me too, buddy. Me too. But Greg couldn't see you. That doesn't make any sense. Must be residual. What do you mean? The residual energy. From the storm? The blast in 1989? You've, you've got to be kidding me. My neck hurts too. Mike, I need you lucid right now. I'm very lucid, thank you very much. Very much. The stuttering. Wait, you didn't stutter last time. And it seems pretty mild now. It only took Curtis about six months to fully degrade. And my mom pushed through for over a year. I've never seen the onset be so slow. It's been decades for you. How is that possible? The residual, the residual, the bubble works. The bubble? You said last time it was meant to trap and slowly dissipate the energy from the geomagnetic storms, right? If that's true, then it would explain why it's taking you so long to degrade. And possibly why you keep reverting to thinking you're alive. I am alive. And the pain. Felix's neck pain could have been tied to how he died initially. Could Greg's ability to see Felix for a minute be an effect of the energy here? Hmm. Bianca's body wasn't found too far from here. Route 83 up the street. And she was trapped inside her body and blind. Are you talking to me? Come to think of it... Will from all those months ago. The guy who got his head cut off, he was unable to appear until I put his head back on his body. Uh, You know that is a vital part of being alive. This is all making sense. The energy from the blast is still centered around here. Sort of explains why some of the rules of being a ghost are are being broken. At least in this area. It explains a lot, actually. Mike, I need you to come with me. I can't leave in the middle of a workday. I'm sure you can make an exception. And think of the things I can get done. There's nothing to get done. There's a bigger problem with the town than just this broken invention. The broken invention is the big problem with the town. Yeah, you might be right, but... I'm always right. I still need you to come with me. I have so many questions, and I think being away from here might actually help you be more aware. Come on. Don't you touch me! Mike, I, I can't anyway. Just follow me. Your arm went right through me. Come this way. I'll explain everything. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. Just come through the debris and we'll walk down the path here. Is that your car? Yeah, why? It looks so advanced. What model is it? 2012 Prius. 2012? I thought you were aware of the passage of time. Uh, John? What? Did it work? John? What's that? It's my car. 
You just said that. It hurts. What? What hurts? Uh, my head. Get it out. Get it out. Mike, what are you doing? Mike! What's going on? Damn it. Mike! Mike! There you are. What happened? Hello? Who are you? Mike, it's me. We just spoke. Do you have a badge? I don't. I was hoping to get you out of here. You'll need a badge. This is a restricted area. You really don't remember me. Do you work here? If so, you should go see the doctor. We sound a little stressed out. The doctor? I very stressed out, yes. The doctor, Dr. Kim. Dr. Kim? Yes, in employee health. You should set up a visit. I think I'll do that. Good. Now, without a badge, you'll really need to leave. Yeah. Thanks, Mike. I hope I get to see you again. Bring a badge next time. Bye, John. Died is an audio media original production created and written by Vince Dijani, directed and edited by Chroma Sakura, with sound design and mixing by Eric Howell. The How I Died theme song was created by Silent Mike. Starring me as John Spacer, Shayna Waring as Sheriff Crowley, David Dixon as Curtis, Luis Bermudez as Eric Mendez, Vin Vox as Dr. Kim, and Caitlin Roberts as Amelia. This episode featured guest performances by Silent Mike as Mike and Kieran Regan as Greg Picker. Also featuring Matthew Bentley and Karen Heyman as the news anchors. Thanks so much for listening, and until next episode, try not to die. <laughs>